Hi, YouTube. My name is Olivia, and I am the creator of Strands. What are Strands? Well, it's a wig that I make, and I only use human hair off of your head. If you give me your hair, it doesn't matter the amount. Anything that God put on your head, I can make it into a wig within three hours. Setting up is three hours for the hair process, and then three hours to make it. So it's really a total of between five to six hours of um work to do to make a strands i'm sitting beneath my closet this is my strands closet this closet you see i have every type of hair i have clothes below i have blonde hair i have white hair and underneath here are more layers of hair curly hair curly straight um indian spanish I have so much hair, so much hair that, um, because I just, I love hair. I don't love hair when I say, like, just hair, have hair, like commercial hair. I mean, I like to see the depth of hair, the, um, the, all of the different textures that God gave you. And you see with the strands, you don't, um, it's like really nice. You can comb right through it and everything. And at the end of the day, I could just flip it off, flick it off, because I don't like, at this age, anything that um, that just sits on my head anymore. That, uh, not that sits on my head, that has to be sewn in, because I start sweating now. Oh, I didn't realize this was broken. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I can't have things sewn in my head, glued in my head. Uh, I'm not going to do no edges at this at this age. I have I have edges. I don't wear those uh, sticky wigs or anything like that. And I don't have a problem with anybody who has, um, who does, you, who uses them. I'm just saying for me, at my age, I just want something to just throw on and go. But I don't want hair that tangles. That's why I like strands, because I don't care how much they promise you something. You know, we're not, it's going to be tangle free and all of that. It never is really tangle free because you can't duplicate human hair after you've taken everything out of it i mean it's you can you can still call it hair i mean you can even make a what is it they make the synthetic wigs strands of it whole duplicates human hair what's the beauty in that it's useful and it's beautiful but when i say it's a different type of beauty it's like when i wear uh, my uh, cubic zirconia i like cubic zirconia but when it's another feeling you get with something that's really real, you know it's real, as opposed to fake Louis Vuitton bags. Everybody gets the same thing. I like it. When I got my first real Louis bag, it felt way different than the um, the fake ones I used to get in New York. But and that's how I feel about hair. I've had a I'm a beautician by trade. I went to uh, Jane Adams and I'm licensed to do hair. But um, I. That's that's why I you know I have a, a a feel I have a feeling about hair because I I used to do it, but over the years I had so much hair and it's just a problem after problem after problem. Beautiful expensive wigs, really beautiful expensive wigs. I could I paid like five hundred dollars for a wig one day, and the wig was like oh gosh, well she just keeps falling off. The wig was just like. I put this, it, whenever you get a wig that has all kind of instructions, here's another one of my strands. She's oriental hair. You see that? Just beautiful hair. That's her hair. No silicone or anything on it. So, and you, as you see her comb through, her comb through, you can see me combing it. It's nothing hindering it. Just, you know, a wig. And someone cut this hair off. It doesn't change. You know, so um, it's when you're looking at hair, for people who have hair fed, there are people in the world who have actual hair fetishes and they love hair and all kind of weird stuff with it too, you know, but I don't have a weird fetish. My light just went off. I'm trying to figure out why does it have a timer or something on it, but um, oh my goodness, excuse me, you two. Okay, I got it plugged back in. It's the outlet, but um, yeah, I like hair that 
feels, I mean, you can't feel this. This is like, you know, they have smell of vision on TV. Can you feel, can you just imagine how soft that hair feels? That right. And the feeling of something when you know it's real, it's nothing like it. Nothing like it. This is real. This hair was a, well, I think he was 18 years old, uh, 18 year old guy. And he was a mix of um, African American and I think Nicaragua. And he sent his hair was nappier than this. But I put some uh, Jenny Low, some kind of low low on it, yogurt mixed with something. And it took the curl and made it's like a, a natural perm. And it straightened it enough like this. It's not just like this. This is braided. That's why it's wavy. But it turned it straight. And I didn't want it straight. I didn't know what I was doing with that cherry low low. I shouldn't have put it in a good wig like this because it changed the texture and I liked it when it was really bushy and nappy and long. And I'm going to, um, as I make more videos, I'll maybe start trying to, you know, my daughter's going to try to help, start helping me. I'm going to put in um, the people's, when I show you the wig, I can show you the person. But the, I didn't um, make the video to show strands or anything about uh, these wigs and talk about strands. I wanted to show you my newest creation. I'm going to try to lay her back down. My stand broke for her, so she may just fall all over the place. Down she goes. <laughs> down she goes. Okay, so and you see, I have more wigs over there, and the rest of that is some fake hair with ponytails I wore in the summer. But here is my beauty, here are my beauties. Let me try to close this door of my wigs. Okay. And leave that door open. But ta-da. Do you see her? Do you see her? This. This is. You see how long she is. 54 inches long. 54 inches long. That's her. 54. And next to this beauty is her, Milani. Remember Milani? Anybody who had watched my page before when I used to post? This was my first wig, and she's 46 inches long. And I thought this was the longest wig in the world I thought it was but as you see she is 46 and when I put her next to her new buddy you see the difference in the length now she in comparison to her night and day you see that I just wore this out for Halloween, and I got a lot of compliments on her. But you see the naturalness of the hair? It's just beautiful. You know, the hair, let me see if the lighting changes anything. I don't know if you can even see it with this light. Let me bring it back to camera so maybe that I'm still, you know, my daughter got me this light, and it encouraged me to, do some more videos to do of it. I used to do a lot of videos and I deleted every last one of them off of um YouTube and threw my wigs and threw all the tape away because I got into after I went to Shark Tank and I didn't get called. I got kind of disappointed. It's a, you, you never know how you're going to feel about something until it happens because um, I just thought I would go there. If I got picked, I got picked. If I didn't, I didn't. But when I didn't get picked, it hurt. And I took everything down. I didn't want to make another wig, yada, yada. And I haven't made any more wigs since these. I made about five wigs since YouTube. And YouTube was maybe uh, two, three, three years ago. Three years ago. And so, but... I had to make a video just to show. She's like, let me get my tape measure. She's 
really, really thick. And you know, the other one, I'm gonna, I'm, I call her Milani. Or what's her name? Melania, right, Melania. Because my mannequin looked like Melania Trump. But um, yeah, I call her Melania, but she's um very, very thick. Let me see. Her measurement around is, so you can see how nice this hair, the hair is beautiful, tangle free. She's about four, four and a half inches around. I'm trying to. Okay. She's four inches around, four. And her here, she is only going to let's see. She is. She's three inches around, so. She's way much thicker. And she was much thicker too. But you know what happened? That um that I wasn't used to working with like 52 inch hair so long that I lost so much of the hair. It hurt so bad to lose it. I lost so much hair. So much hair. But the wig still came out nice in the end. The hair is beautiful. You know, whoa, okay. It's a lightweight one. Uh, that's why I mean I would love to do styling videos, but between uh, I can't between the camera and me and my crazy stuff. Whenever I go to do it, let me show you. Whenever I go to do a wig, like here she goes. <laughs> and then this breaks, just broke. So. Every, then I have another one that sticks to the counter. It's, uh, you know, the one that suction cup. It keeps falling off no matter what I do, alcohol, water. And then I have a um, another one that screws on to the ledge. And the ledges are all like real small ledges that it won't clamp onto. So I'm always having these dramas. So I can't make the wigs, you know, just because I play with them all of the time. I mean, the, I... Uh, I love hair, and I sit here and I play with these. I style them. I um had I I never because they're human hair. Uh, I flat iron them. I don't blow them ever. I don't blow them out with the thing. I take a a brush, and I just take them. Let me use her as example. This one here, and I just take a brush, and I this is how I dry them. Just spin it, spin dry. That's how I dry all of my wigs. That's how, and they keep, and while you're drying them like this, you're keeping all the natural oils in there, uh, the hair intact, and um, giving it body. Cause this is, doing it like that gives it so much body. So much body. This wig has so much body and shine. But yeah, I don't, I treat them carefully but not care, and I don't give people instructions on how to wear the wig, how to wash it in cold water and all that crazy stuff, because you don't have to do that with real hair. Real hair is real hair, and it acts as such. And so when I wash these, I just don't like blow drying that because it, it takes a lot, and I have a bad back, so it takes a lot. So I just sit there and just spin her around. <laughs> I haven't spun the wigs in a while. I just spin her around and get her nice and go and I flat iron a bang. The only thing about a strands wig that is um, man-made is the closure, the front part. That's the fake hair. And you can get any of those closures you want, but the other hair is 100% human hair. I do not do any wigs with any kind of artificial hair from, what is it, um, any place, I don't care. What they say about the hair, how beautiful the hair is and all that, because I understand that it's beautiful because of silicone. You're not getting um, the beauty because the hair, because this hair, I promise you, you can't get anything in America that um, has disease. It has to go, it has to be sprayed at every port, from what I understand. It has to be very clean before, because they don't want to bring lice and any kind of stuff in there. So the hair has to be treated, and that's natural. But my hair comes from everywhere, but I get, they're like college students selling their hair, older people, people, you know, 
who love their hair in the salon? It's not a bunch of, I just see some crazy hair. You could, when you look on hair salon, this is where I get my hair and eBay. On um, eBay, you put in cut human hair or cut human hair ponytail or human hair ponytail, a variety of things like that. Cut human hair really normally gives you people selling their hair. And the other place I go to is Hair Salon, H-A-I-R-S-E-L-L-O-N. And that's where I get a majority of my hair. But the majority of the hair on there is between $200 and two to all the way up to about 5000 depends on what you're getting. So the hair is really nice, but you can get the same hair on eBay from people selling it for $50 on up. Cause I mean I've gotten bunches of hair. People don't think people don't realize right now that there's a market for their hair really, and so they just they sell it. A lot of on hair salon, they don't play that. They they charge and you crazy like as if you're gonna make five thousand dollars off one of their wigs. And I'd be so tempted to go, you're not. I'm not making anything off of these wigs. And if I was selling them, I wouldn't be able to recoup for what you charge me because I have to charge the consumer so much to get hair. You're gonna throw it away anyway. You don't know how. Horrible I feel when I watch. I think his name is Muir M U I R. -A. He's on YouTube and he cuts, takes the hair, and he makes this presentation. He cuts it all off to the floor. And I'm just like, oh, that's something useful. Because if you have hair and your hair is thinning, you don't know if it's gonna come back. It's been beautiful. If you cut it off, I can make you a wig in three hours with your own natural hair. Own oh, natural hair. Not you don't have to wear the fake wigs, you don't have to go to the salon and they try to explain to you how the hair looks so good on you, that wig, and you know that wig look crazy. But you you know you have to do that because this is all they have. No, you take your hair, you see that hair? Look at that. You take your hair off of your head, and I can give you a wig in no time with it, your own natural hair. Ta-da. That's it. But I'm going to sit her down. I need to want to watch me talk. So I wanted to give you a little hair porn. Hair porn. Hair porn. Beautiful hair. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair. That's what everybody wants. A head full of beautiful hair. And when I'm walking down the street, I get compliments. And when people ask me about it, they just ask about the hair, the hair. The hair, the hair. I have never walked down the street and told anybody that their fake hair, commercial hair, was beautiful before. But I tell you, this hair, I don't have to do nothing. This hair has not had anything done to it. No grease, because I don't use oils. No oils, nothing. Just shampooed and conditioned. This is it. She was in a closet for a while. I just found her when I was looking through my wigs to show y'all. I just found her. But, um, yeah. But I just wanted to show you her. <laughs> I just wanted to show you my two girls. Because I tell you, their hair is beautiful. And it's long. And I should be able to give you some hair porn with her. Let me take her off of her pedestal and attempt to give you some hair porn. There's something wrong with her thing, that's why. But okay, let me attempt to give you some hair porn from the top all the way down. Just look at that hair. It's just beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. She goes all the way down to part of my knee. That's how far down she goes. And let me try to get you back up here. And I guess I don't have a lot more to say. I don't know what's going on with him. He is falling apart. Okay, but that's the beauty of hair, and then her hair, well, I can't take her off because 
she's got her clothes on and everything and she's pinned as you see she's got a pin through her head up here so i don't want to take her off but you get the idea the hair is beautiful when i bring her into the light her hair is beautiful Beautiful. Like Pantene hair. And again, nothing in it. I've had her for, I told you, I've had about four years. Four years. This is four year old hair. No really weird light filters and stuff. I have some kind of light my daughter gave me. But when you go out in the natural sunshine, you see the color. See, this is what real hair does. But when you go, when you get that other stuff, it's been colored and uh, altered and wave curl things to make it kinky for your texture, all kind of stuff. When you can buy kinky, you can buy kinky. I have kinky wigs. I have, excuse me, I have our, all kinds of hair. I have our hair. So, because um, we don't cut our hair, but we have other ethnicities that have hair like us, Indians, Puerto Ricans, especially Hispanics. I get their hair and that's the curly hair I get. And the only one I got that was um, African-American, like I said, was this person. And I have another guy. He was African-American, too. Yeah, they'd they be mixed. Caucasian mother and a uh, black father, stuff like that. And that's how I get texture because it's really hard to get texture. Everybody's straight and blonde. On You'll see on when you get to haircellon.com, H-A-I-R-S-E-L-L-O-N.com. And I'm going to wrap it up because I've been long-winded. But I just wanted to tell you about my wigs and I wanted to show you them because I really am proud of my work and I love wigs. I love hair, really quality hair. And I want to make some more videos just to um, show you each one of the wigs, just comb them out. You know, just something to do. Just something to do. And board them, you know. I just do them. I know that um, Taraji P. Henson, she loves hair. I would love to catch up to her so I could show her how I make my strands because I probably won't make any videos of me making it. I don't have that kind of time to sit there uh, uh, and make the wig. It doesn't take me much time, but I make them sitting on my bed with my feet up, adjustable bed, watching uh, YouTube, and I just make it. And I'm going to post a video to show you the person who donated the 52-inch the, uh, wig, where the hair came from. I'm going to show it to you how I got it. It was in little bands. About came about 10 little bands of hair. And I just knew they had prepared it so nice for me. Because it cut from a... Uh, she was Chinese. She put it together so nice for me. But even working with that little bit of hair, it was just like so long that when I finally finished the wig and was combing through all... I mean, I just lost so much hair. And on top of that, I don't hackle the hair. You know, normally when they get hair, beauticians or people who work with wigs, they take it and they uh, hold it and they run it through some kind of rake like that. That's called hackling to get all the little loose hairs. I keep the loose hairs because the loose hairs, um, this is the thickness up here. You see how this is probably five inches thick. But when I gave you here, it was four. But so this, this is all you need is your ponytail. And if your hair is... This thin, you see, that looks like nothing, right? This would make a whole full wig for me. Of your, this was all the hair you had on your head. It would make a whole full wig. I mean, I have hair. This hair right here on this uh, mannequin, it's. If I held it up to you like this, you would go, "Oh no." Okay, girlfriend, you can't make anything with that little bit of hair. You need five and six bundles. It's not about bundles with strands. You don't need bundles with strands. You just need one person to cut their hair for you or cut your hair and you can make a strands wig. And it, as I told you, this one is four years old. She's just about a month or three weeks old. And the other one, I think I got her two years ago. And all of those wigs I showed you in there, some of them I made when I first started doing strands. I got my first piece of hair from the... um the um. Not the Goodwill. It's one of these little Goodwill places in my neighborhood. And it was curly. And I didn't know what to do with it because it didn't have the weft to it. So I went and I bought me a weft machine. Well, I didn't buy a weft. I turned the chi upside down first and put the strings across. 
after YouTube. YouTube always gives you all kind of stuff, teaches you all kind of stuff. And so I made my first one upside down. But then my aunt, when she passed, she was a beautician. She had the weaving thing. And so I started making the hair on the weave. And it was just, when I finished it, it was just all over the place. It was coming out. I, I just didn't, it just didn't work for me. And I don't like weaves. I just sew it in. And, you know, I don't have to, no tracks and stuff. I have all of these bumps and stuff from weaves and I have to take it and I just couldn't do it anymore and I sat around for a while just kind of like trying to figure out what to do with the hair and then someone else I think it was somebody on I think it was YouTube because I didn't know about hair salon yet YouTube was selling China uh, uh, not Chinese it was an American Indian yeah the lady was an American Indian and she was selling her hair and I bought it and it was 25 inches, just like this and long. And I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to do it like that. And so I just put it aside. I put it away to do nothing. And um, one day I was watching Oprah's network, you know, that the network on, not on, she was Oprah at the time. And she had an angel network and people donated and they were showing something where all the people had changed their lives doing something and they were donating money and I just said a simple prayer to God or um that day because a whole night passed that day that please God don't let me die without being able to give something back and just a simple prayer but it's from my heart though because them little kids giving all kind of stuff you know I give stuff but it, I just just a part of yourself while you're here what do you bring to the table and when you have a bad back it's not a lot of things you can bring to the table when it's severe so the thing I like and I play with on my time to keep my mind, you know, straight is hair. Because you have to, when you're dealing with so much pain, you have to do something. You can't just sit there thinking about it. You have to be able to do something. And so I sit there and I'm in my bed and I, um, like I said, adjust my bed, turn on YouTube, and I make these wigs. And I think I might have lost my train. make these wigs and um and I put them in the closet and when I get bored or something it's overwhelming me anything I could take one of them out these are my mental health and I start playing with them some people love makeup I love hair I don't love hair hair I love real hair real hair and you don't have to 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 Get the hair. It doesn't have to be expensive. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. You can actually get hair on eBay, just like I told you, for that little amount of money. Okay, so don't get, don't go, I don't have that kind of money. When you can get a wig made that you will never have to make another one again, you don't never have to buy hair again, that you have your wig forever, and even if something happens with the uh, cap or anything that it's made with, it can be it can be cut off of it and done over. You never, I make these wigs over and over. If I, you know, do a wig and I don't like something about it, you know, I'll just take it off of there and put it on another cap and restyle it or anything. You know, it doesn't have to, it can be moved around. I did that only just to show. I, I'm going through, okay. When I sit down and teach strands one day, if I ever do, I have done strands for literally since 2012. I started strands. And that's what I was telling you to dream. So I sat on the edge of the bed and I made said that prayer. And then I woke up the next morning and when I swung my legs over the bed to get up and then swing them. But <laughs> getting off the bed, I um saw a vision pass before my eyes. It was a wig being made right in front of my eyes. I was just sitting there. It started as soon as I went to get up and started and I just saw it like people say they life flash I really saw a product being made in front of me and I didn't know that they sold the things to make it that I saw in the you know at least one of the components I didn't know and I started strands out differently um than she's made now but I saw what God showed me and I went and made it and I was shocked and I still have that wig today too and um the hair to this day and I've never stopped making them. I make wigs all year long. I spend a lot of money on wigs, making, buying hair and um, making wigs out of them. And I don't spend a, a lot, like everything on 
hair salon for two, three, four, five, six dollars. I don't do that because um, uh, eBay will have the same kind of hair. Like I said, for fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, you could get somebody's hair because most of the the, the lengths are like twenty, not twenty, like uh, twelve inches on to fifteen or sixteen. You can get that for a hundred or less on eBay. If somebody try to charge you more than that, then just keep looking around. Just keep keep looking around. But um. Yeah, so that's how I started making them, but I lost my, I keep losing my train of thought because I'm trying to say so much, but when I do start to make the wig, when I show you how to make, if I show you how to make it now, you would run out and try to make it, and you would make it, and it would look nice, but it would be a knockoff, and it wouldn't work right, because you need certain things only work. They all look the same, everything looks the same. But the quality of it is not the same. And this way can only make, be made with certain things and a certain way. I know what will damage the wig. I know what will not damage it. I know how to position everything right. I know how to get the flow of the hair. All of that stuff. I have this wig down pat. But if you're looking at it when I show it to you, you will go and run and buy this stuff and do it. And you'll be coming on there going, oh, that wig is this and that. And it ain't this and that and that. Nope, not true. I have people wearing these wigs for years and years and years. I have my kids. I have uh, daughters, aunts, cousins, sisters, friends, all have a wig. Nobody's brought it back. No complaints. So I know how to make a strand. But just recently, I saw a sale on some stuff and I was like, oh, let me buy this. This, one, this is cheap and yada, yada, yada. Jesus, I'm going to have to take one, two, three wigs apart. Because I've used that method and knew it's not the same thing at all. So I learned that it's something I do that I'm good at. And when I teach you, you'll be good at it. And you may make your own wig. You sit in your own house, your own bed. You might not have to sit in the bed. You might be good and healthy. But um, And you can make it yourself. And maybe one day I'll sit down and do that but I um I have to get the camera mastered better than this because I'd be going back and forth, back and forth, cutting it off and cutting it off. And when you cut it off, sometimes you can't pick it back up or pause. So I have to really know what I'm doing to sit down and demonstrate that because it's hard enough for me to demonstrate this. You see this camera skills, I'm just yapping. But um, thank you so much, YouTube, for letting me show you my beautiful wigs, my beautiful fit. This is the longest wig on YouTube. This is the longest real human hair wig on YouTube. It's 52 inches, 54 inches. The hair said 52 inches, but it was a little bit longer than that. And this wig is 54 inches from the top of it to the bottom. And you find that on YouTube, uh, that, but that person that's showing you that wig, that wig is not human hair. Human, human hair. It's human hair that is going to tangle. It's not going to work right. It's going to be cumbersome, but not when you have real hair. You don't have all those tangles. I talk to you all this time. You don't see hair bunched up under my neck. And when the silicone... Who people? Excuse me. I heard trees falling just now. Dang, that scared me. Let me get out the bathroom. But, um, yeah, I don't have all, uh, this is just hair. And thank you for watching, YouTube. And I, don't, I know a lot of people won't go looking for my videos. I get big views just because people pass by and leave the room in the kitchen and it keeps running. It's my little 50 views, that's why I'm not encouraged. Because I'm uh, just a talker and I don't know how to work the, the camera well enough to be any use but i still just wanted to share my wigs and put it out there and show my family my new 54 inch wig and thank you so much youtube for um entertaining me to and to show you something that i like and until next time god bless everybody and be well and be merry thank you for watching